Ladies and gentlemen, please, can you sit down? Can everybody sit down and be quiet, please? Please. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. I bring you greetings from our president. The party's record 
on social intervention and value for money initiatives is a matter of record. However, the party still suffers communication gaps, giving room for malicious and untrue stories. As we have heard here today, despite the major transformations, such as free SHS, 1D1F, youth employment, restoration of nurses and teachers' allowances, increase in food production, massive road construction, and expansion of the economy, we barely scraped through Parliament and lost quite a significant number of presidential votes in 2020. It is obvious there is enormous work to be done, so how do we empower women's wings to effectively support the party's agenda to break the aid? We need to empower women's groups with the facts. All members of the women's wings must get involved in educating Ghanaians, including those in the diaspora, about issues to dispel the obvious propaganda. I therefore call on the party hierarchy to organize training for women's needs on political communication, including the use of social media platforms to explain and promote the achievements of the party. This must start now. We cannot wait until 2024. To empower more women to champion the cause of our great party, we must empower them to get into mainstream politics. Women must go for more leadership positions in the party and not only the women's family. I wish to reiterate this. It is up to all of us to support our women to compete and win leadership positions. We must lobby and advocate for more women to be MPs for the 2024 elections. Let's put our women forward in constituencies where we are certain to win. This will make the party more attractive to women who constitute the most loyal voters. Women have played a far more significant role in MPP than it's often acknowledged. Today, I acknowledge and salute all the women who have made our party what it is, even as I encourage all of us to step up our efforts for victory in 2024. Long live the MPP and long live Ghana. Thank you. Your Excellency, thank you very much for that wonderful speech.
Really appreciate it, your words of wisdom, and we really, really thank you for being the backbone of the man, the first gentleman of our land. Thank you very much. So now, our women's organizer in the UK, the current women organizer, I think, I can't one week for everyone. Yes. Uh, one week. One week. What's up, I said? Mammy, I'll be more so yeah, and get to a big edit children. Oh, yeah, be big come, come, come up a fair, fair, and yeah, my mammy. Now, why my brother? Uh huh. Who could do? I see. Who could do? We all know our mother loves children. So, at this point, I'm not going to take the shine for my beautiful daughter. She's going to present a citation to our first lady. Benedicta, Ma, thank you very much. Uh, we finished all the speeches. It, oh. Yeah, yeah, baby, did you that? Mr. DJ, what my